But it's amazing how it's my uh, duty to teach young generation about experiencing and performance. And I really think this is a part of my work uh, as an artist and kind of duty and responsibility. She is probably one of the best teachers I've ever had in just this one week. So there's always that um, suspended animation, not quite knowing what to expect next. And her criticism can be, I mean, it goes down with a spoonful of honey, <laughs> literally for some people, but it really does come from a place where, you know, she is not taking, she's just giving. And with, like a lot of people, artists especially, that get to a level of like, oh, I'm having my own show at the MoMA, can get that. Um, important feeling around when you're around them and she, she relates to you like we're all just you know children in the playground you know. Performance is all about the dialogue, energy dialogue and being present in here and now. The audience is like a dog, they can feel immediately that you are afraid, that you're insecure, that, that you, you're not you know right in the right state of mind and they just leave, the, you know the old tension is gone. Learning my potential for concentration Marina really showed us how to find it. The challenge is really to maintain this level of mind and body cleanse. And she's definitely given us the tools to be able to do that when the time comes. But these are things that are going to be very challenging in, in New York City. She already put us through much more difficult circumstances than we will face in the performance. I'm not going to wait until my first performance date to see what it's like to stand for two and a half hours. So. It's really lots of work to, to, to do with yourself and your mind. And people think, oh, that's easy, just standing there, and that's it. But you know, it's, it's not like that. It's very much demanding. <laughs>